Yes, it is me, Market Vendor here again today. Well, I'm coming out here the day after International Women's Day. To all the ladies out there, we celebrate you. Our lives would be incomplete. They might be a little more peaceful sometimes without you. Yeah. But then a man out there could tell me, unless he's a priest, that he could do without a lady in his life. You understand? Even if it is nothing more than your mother or your sister. You understand? Or your aunt or your grandmother. You always have to have the ladies in your life. Now you see me, market vendor. I want to congratulate a lady. The Prime Minister of Barbados, but in her capacity as the chairman of CARICOM. For a rather erudite, a very thoughtful but at the same time, a very forceful message to the political parties in Guyana and to the electoral officers in Guyana that what is going on in Guyana must not fail to observe the rule of law, the right of every vote to be counted and to do the right thing. Listen, let me tell you something, right? When I listen to that speech by Mia Amar Motley uh, over the weekend, I had to say it, it was well written, it was well thought out, and it was brilliantly delivered to as well. I am happy to see that the chairman of CARICOM has come out and spoken without taking sides, yet making all the critical points that needed to be made in this horrible, sorrowful saga of the conduct of the elections in Guyana. And the words of the international observers resonate in my head. I saw that video where former Prime Minister Wayne Arthur was speaking out, where other international observers were speaking out, and I held my head in shame and I hollered for, oh, lost, oh, lost, Guyana. Don't tell me when I'm going back to them old days of doing things the wrong way. No, no, no. Listen, let the process speak. Whatever the process is, you have to accept it. Whether you win or whether you lose. And you know that somebody got to win and somebody got to lose. You know that the stakes high. You know that everybody wants to win. But there are very few people in politics who have not tasted defeat at some time in the career. Will and come again. But do not seek, you understand, to mess up the process and to do things that you know are wrong or illegal. Every vote must count, and everything must be done in a transparent and clear matter. The old days when you got hijacked elections, those days are long over. Not when you got international observers watching every move that you make. You see me, market? I go on for now. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah, 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 yeah.